a few months ago I found this cabinet curbside I called Ikea I said hey could I just get the missing pieces they need the information the receipt information the order information all this stuff and so I said to myself fine I'm gonna just try to build it with the pieces that I have so I'm cutting it now um, looks like yeah see this guy's calling to replace pieces that got broke whatever yeah right anyways drills drill bits hammers well I cut it so far so this is um, about 30 30 plus 15 45 about 45 originally 45 wide and it, mi it was missing the middle door and all the middle shelves and stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, build this oh, I gotta make sure oh yeah this is the middle the middle shelf so and these are the sides I'm cutting it. I, I figured about 35. These middle pieces didn't cut very well. So I need the middle part to be 35 and a half to work. So this right here, I'm going to make it 35 and a half. I need to figure out how to drill a hole like this. And I need to do a couple things, but I got the saw so far. I saw that one This is the big cut right here So I'm gonna need some better support. So here we go Without without further ado So far, this is what I got going on So I'm right here marking my Cuts using a black sharpie and a black uh, Piece of material I'm going to rub alcohol on this right now and get this off because this is, uh, I'm not using my work shirt. I'm, yeah, I'm going to change into my work shirt. It looks like this, but it's the work shirt. Anyways, I'm going to use some alcohol to get this off. Bummer. Bummer steel skin, man. So, I poured uh, alcohol all over the shirt. So far the line's gone, but now's the time to do laundry. So my roommates are gone, so it's a good time for me to do some laundry so they don't have to be interrupted by the water thing. And let me see here. Um, so I, I, I checked the tags, check the tag, and then I think this is a warm water wash. What the heck is that? Hmm. They tore the tags off the place where I bought it from. Doesn't say. I think it is warm. So this is the piece that you nail to the back of the cabinet to seal it. So it's going to fit perfectly right here. And you can only imagine what I'm going to store in it. Ooh, I wonder if that would fit in it. That would be super cool. <clears throat> Possibly, but it, not, it might not be strong enough to support too many things, actually, 
the more I think about it. So I got it in position. I'm building it in the room because it's easier to build it in the room where it's going to go. So far, it's coming together pretty, pretty good. So I'm going just to keep on at it until it's done. So this is pretty much everything I'm using so far is the, the saw, the drill, and I got all the screws and dowels and everything right there. So we'll see how this comes together. So I had to cut this cabinet and I used the leftover pieces to build this. So what I got so far is this, um, I had to drill the, yeah, I had to drill, see, this is going to need it too. See, see how that has the dowel connections in there. See, I have to drill it for right here. I did it by eye to drill it. The drill bit is one, fifteen thirty-four. Well, fifteen thirty-four. You know what? If I looked at the book, it probably told me it's fifteen thirty-four. Where's this stupid book? Let's see if it says the dowels. Where's the picture of the dowels over here? 22 of these. Yeah, doesn't say what size it is. This part number. So you could contact IKEA and they could turn you down. Oh, what is your receipt number? What is your receipt number? Oh, this one has these, so. It takes, oh, I don't know where I put all the screws at, but the hint on how to cut the pieces was right under my nose. This is the piece that goes in the back. There's always hints if you just are open up to hear them, you know? So check it out. <clears throat> it is. It actually overlaps so, the door. Since it overlaps the door, I need to cut that piece a little bit shorter. Maybe 30, exactly. See, I'm kind of confused. I'm trying to figure out if these doors, oh, if they close on the inside or the outside. Because then that part here Inside or outside, because this part here has to be cut a little shorter. So the doors will be on the inside. I think the doors are on the inside, actually. So those other pieces are too long, too. So I've got to cut them to 30. So I think I have to take off a little bit. So remember, when you do cuts, it's always easier to remove. Well, you can only remove. You can't add. <laughs> you can't. Not quite. So I'm going to uh, assemble just half of this and see how the door shuts. So I have this bottom of a bed frame that I'm going to use for cutting my cutting that that this this piece of particle. Because I need the middle to be this wide. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Cut the middle this wide so I could, um, yeah, get, get, get her done. Okay. So I marked it with the Sharpie on the black, but I put this other thing to catch it so it doesn't get damaged when it gets cut in half. Because the point of doing this in a clean way that nothing gets damaged in theory 
Well, I'm not sure how that happened. That's a bit of a bummer. Look at this. I try to clean it up a little bit, but now I have to kind of compare, compare notes. Cause I got two doors. Boom, boom. I'm gonna see how they line up. So far so good. Not a really good workspace actually, but it's coming together pretty good. The top's going to be a little bit of a challenge because it already has like um, areas to uh, put those. Um, actually, those might work out because I'm going to have to put the big screws in the top. Since I'm doing this all from uh, a little bit different. Hmm. Yeah, usually people do voiceovers after they record everything, but I'm just lazy. But at least, hopefully, well, I'm not lazy. It's just that this video stuff is so time consuming. So Remember how I said you can't add... Kind of disappointing. I meant to keep the top a little bit wider. Look. Not good. Bummer. Sweet. It's always easier to take away than to add. I thought I calculated it pretty good. But now I could try to not to cut those pieces at the bottom. No big deal. One side is not. This side over here is all connected. So I gotta still take it apart. Hmm. Good thing I didn't use all the nails. That back thing. Hmm. Still, there's still a way to fix this, but that's enough work for another day. My goodness, hmm. So that means I should have sized it up to the other one. Good thing I didn't get rid of the other part of the back. Oopsie. It's going to be a nice cabinet. Three more cuts. So I'm still building this, but I was going to uh, use this for reference. I'm going to show you how because I need to line up the top of this cabinet with the lid that I made. I made a top kind of randomly, but I think I could make it work. As you can see in the other part of the video that I messed up, so this is still trying to rebuild it. So it's true, a cluttered room is a cluttered mind, but I'm determined to declutter my mind. So anyways, I found this by the curb. See, it's three doors. So the middle section of the, the cabinet holds these screws. So this is my backup plan if what I'm about to do doesn't work. Because what we have is... You can see this came with instructions. It just didn't come with the middle cabinet stuff. So I had to use the long piece in the middle for the bottom and the top because that didn't come with it. Got everything else except the middle part. And that company didn't even want to give me 
anyways, um, the, the middle part. But anyways, it's a good thing because I don't even have room for a big cabinet. So this cabinet, half the size, three quarters of the size, is going to be pretty cool. So this is the screw. That's this one, right? It says to put it at the top. But if my plan doesn't work out, I'm going to put them on the side. Boom, 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 boom. And that should give the cabinet some strength. So I put the, when I assembled, almost had this fully assembled, I put this here so I can know from the top to the bottom and all that business. But you could tell what the top looks like just from the instructions. So, anyways, I just wanted to throw that in. So this is going to be the left side of the cabinet or right side when you're facing it, the right side of the cabinet. I put holes because I could also use these for the side to hold the cabinet. But we'll see how strong it's gonna be because I can even put these at the bottom to give it strength. On both sides, two on each side. Be extra strong, so I can stand inside when I'm hiding from a. Uh, when I'm hiding, in the cabinet. <laughs> so in theory, this should give me a pretty good um, ballpark of where to put the holes on the lid that I made from the scrap from the curb check, curb line. So I got my Dr. Seuss crayons. I like crayons. They're so nice. Have you ever used crayons to make art? I could make fantastic stuff and it's the best colors ever. The primary colors, well, and the green one. My favorite color, it's cool. But yellow, they say, they say that yellow and blue makes green, right? So they had a baby. All right, so I'm going to press this here. I'm going to try to put a lot of pressure because you want an indentation. You want to make a dent on the sheet of paper. So you could take the color. In theory, it will make the holes that you need. See? Oh, that one made it. The other made a hole that time. So I could. Oh. So this is how you could line up. The lid. There you go. See? Now I know that's the uh, top. So I can lay it on top of the lid and pop holes in the area where I need them. One of them is for the whole thing to go through, and the other one is for. I'll show you right now. So I'm not going to pop a hole all the way through but this needs to go into one and this needs to go into the other you see I should do it but just this depth not too deep just enough to go on the top of the lid thing. So I note to myself, there's a difference in the distance between the, this goes in here like this. And then this one also, see? 
So, have to keep in mind there's a distance from the back to the front to keep it, see? Let's demonstrate again, see? This didn't take it. Oops, there we go. So, that's my stencil for putting some holes in the lid in three. It's going to be very interesting to see how this works. I might need to wait until the end to do this part because I'm not sure if the top is going to be too small or too big now so I put this the bottoms together the screws that I had from the top it's on the side oh, didn't put one there yet well the gap is closed I didn't tighten this yet but the door is overlapping. It's cockeyed. Ooh, I think this bottom corner where I put those metal screws. Maybe I need to put a shim. Yeah, we'll see if that works. Uh, so close, but yeah, so far. I'm going to tighten the doors real tight and see if it makes a difference. This is it. This is the final countdown. So we're going to get this all nice and cut. And then we're going to be ready. Hopefully. To make it happen. Well, I got the doors to be mostly straight. I need to put the little stopper up here. There's supposed to be drill a hole and put the little stoppers here or somewhere. But this back part, I got too enthusiastic about nailing it. And well, I gotta rip it out again. Now look, see, that was from the first time I ripped it out. Pooh, I think the top's okay. It's the bottom that's all cockeyed. And then I gotta put some shims right here. Mm-hmm. I got just the thing. Well, for the gap, I'm going to uh, mark it to to know how how wide. To make my pieces I mean there's a um, screw that goes here so I think oh well, there's that front part of the cabinet so hmm. I could probably not anything hmm. 
Well, after probably maybe three days. I don't know how many hours, but look at it. It's done. And I'm pretty satisfied with this. The outside looks good. I guess that's what counts. Because <clears throat> I'm going to open it. And it's going to be very, very Oh, shoot. Gotta move the drill. Hmm. The shims, look at that. Now I'm not, I'm not even sure what I'm gonna put in there. Well, I'm over here at the bottom of the cabinet working on it. And check this out. I was looking at this tool. What the heck is this for? Hmm. What is this for, actually? Well, apparently you put the nails in here and then you nail it. Let me demonstrate. So you know how I said it, you can't add after you cut. It's true, you can't. But maybe it's not totally true because you could take. So I had see this panel here. I have leftover panel. There was three sections. One, two's here, and there's a third section. I didn't throw it away because I don't throw away anything usually, but. I could use the leftover to make a shim. So I have to make, yeah, see, I should have only cut. Hmm. Weird. I cut off an inch. I only needed to cut off a half of inch. Or maybe the top's wrong. I'm going to tilt the cabinet back up and then I'm going to, well, actually, no, that's right. The top might need to go in a little bit. And yeah, the top needs to go in a little bit. So I'm gonna take this razor blade and slice and dice until I get the cuts I need. I have this straight edge here. This is a drywall square. Hmm. Eh, okay. it's square. I probably should give up on this cabinet, but I'm not ready to. At least for the day. I mean, the back has that gap that needs to be sealed. But the more that I observe, the more I realize that this needs to be moved forward by like an inch to make it flushed and I need to fix the top anyways because it's kind of cockeyed but like I was saying that 
I could use this leftover rear part. Slice it with razors to create shims for the back of that. For the side and the back. So I'm glad I didn't get rid of this piece yet. But no. I'm determined to have this mostly done before I go to bed. So right now I'm in the middle of trying to cut this. So I decided to cut 29 and a half to put at the top right here. It's going to be weird, but as soon as I get a good structure, I'll tape the crap out of it and make it look really like I found it by the curb. Well, thanks for watching my wonderful video and um, I'm tired I'm ready to go to sleep but I hope you got something out of it next time you find something in a box by the curb and then you get it home and you find out it's incomplete yeah I didn't even think I didn't I have no idea why I thought that maybe someone put a complete cabinet by the curb yeah anyways so, thank you for it. Thank you for it, whoever left it by the curb. I managed to make it work as a wonderful closet. See, wonderful, wonderful closet. It's a closet. This I think it's called wardrobe or something. Thanks. Line up the nail. Oh, this one's crooked. Oops. Hello, I'm not gonna work very good because I'm a cockeyed nail. Oh, wait, there's good nails too. Check this out. I have my, my camera holder, but I'm not gonna use it because I'm gonna struggle because it's so much more fun. like this well imagine that well look how clean that is after all the frustrations that I've been through ah. What a handy tool. Well, anyway, this is kind of a, the poor man's I Ikea thing. This cabinet, I think, online was like $300, $400. And I got it for free. And I did about 300 hours to get this straight. Oh, yeah, look at lighting kit. Oh, how fun. Got that from... Well, I'm pleasantly surprised. I, I stood this up. And I haven't even uh, did my drugs yet. And oh, check boy. it out. I mean, it's kind of whacked out in the back right here. I mean, I could probably try to put some sort of... I could probably find something to put in here. And some shelves. But check this out. Look at this. Watch. Watch. Whoa. Like a champ. 
the gap. It's not perfect, but I can live with that. I can put the door handles on. See what the, see this? <laughs> the nail holder tool, man. Don't ever forget the nail holder tool. And look. Let's see here. See, I could put the. Hmm. I think I only have one of those. <laughs> It'd be interesting to see if it would even go across. If I could find it. See? There's only one hole on this side. Wait. Oh, yeah, because the other side was supposed to be. Anyways, I'm probably not going to mess with that because I need it for shelves for my hoarding. So the handles go outward.